Writing sentences using pictures. Activity one. Use the pictures below to write a sentence for each. This is a structure, and there are some pictures. You can use them to write a sentence for each picture. In the first picture, we see there is a fountain. In the second picture, it is about a pyramid, and there are also many people around it. In the third picture. We see many buildings. So when we are writing these sentences, we have to start with "there is" or "there are," depending on the subject. If it is single or singular number, then we have to put "there is," and if the subject is plural, then we have to use "there are." Let's see the examples here. Number one: There is a fountain in the sea. So. It is a single fountain in the picture you can see, and we have to start the sentence with "there is," because it is a singular fountain. And where is it? In the sea. There is a fountain in the sea. Sentence number two: There are many people near the pyramid. In this picture, we see this is the pyramid, and many people are here and there around it. So we have to start the sentence. With there are many people, and where are the people? We can see near the pyramid. Sentence number three: There are many tall buildings in the city. In this picture, we see there are many tall buildings here, here, here. Many tall buildings. So, as it is a plural number, so we have to use there are. There are many tall buildings, and where are the tall buildings? In the city. There are many tall buildings in the city. Making negative sentence using is not or are not. Put not after is or are to make negative sentences. Examples: Mr. Ali is a policeman. This is a positive sentence, and we have to make it negative this way. Mr. Ali is not a policeman, so we have to put "not" after "is" or "are." There are many camels in the field. We can see, as it is a plural number, camels, so we have "are" here, and when we are making it negative, we have to use "are not." There are not many camels in the field. We just add "not." After R, using A correctly with different places, the letter A should be used before all words beginning with a consonant sound, except silent H. Example, an hour, and before words begin with the vowels that represent combined consonant and vowel sounds, such as in university, unit, European. Examples. Mr. Ali lives in a village. As it says here, we have to put a before all words beginning with a consonant sound. Here it is, village, and this is a consonant sound, and we have to put a. Also, the word begins with a consonant, v. Abha is a city. The word begins with c. The first letter is c, and we use a before it. But there are also exceptions, as we mentioned here. That except silent H. If a word begins with H but the sound is silent for H, then we have to use N instead of A. Exceptions. Here is the example A. It takes an hour to reach my home. This is the word hour. Here the H is silent. There is no sound. For this H, as if the word begins with O, we consider that the word begins with O, so we put N before our. Another example: He studies in a university. It is a vowel sound, U, and for this we have to use A instead of N. Using of N correctly with different places. Put an before the names of a place or a word beginning with a vowel. In English, we have 
five vowels a e i o and u if any word or the name of a place begins with a vowel then we have to put n where is the picture it is about a fort sentence number a it is an old fort the word begins with o so we have to use n before it sentence number b this is a town on an island we can see a very beautiful town and it is on an island it is a place island and the word begins with i so we use n before it sentence number c this is an airport in this picture we see there are many planes and it is a picture of an airport so the airport begins with a a vowel and we put n before it using of the correctly with different places when we know there is only one of a thing or a place we say the the capital of saudi arabia is riyadh the capital is only one here in this country and its name is riyadh so we put the before the capital the center of the island is mountainous in the island there is only one center and we have to use the before it the center of the island is mountainous the sun rises in the east we know there is only one of a thing so the sun is only one and we put the before the sun the sun rises in the east we also write the when we have already written about thing or place such as i visited riyadh last week the city is very crowded here this the refers to the city that i already visited i already told you about the city in my first sentence i visited riyadh last week the city is very crowded here the city refers to the city i mentioned in my first sentence riyadh so we put the before the noun